I can tell you their visit is going well. This is day one of their visit, and that's exactly what they're telling me. And they're also telling me this, that people with disabilities in their country tend to be left behind, and they want to change that. Sports is a universal language. You don't have to speak the same dialect to understand the goal of winning. Flavio Cardoso is a coach and sports organizer in Angola. He joins several of these other coaches who lead disabled athletes in African countries like Mozambique. It's been very, very, very good. Okay. He's at Lakeshore in Homewood, eager to learn how he can bring sports like wheelchair rugby or air rifle back to his homeland. It, it will have a huge impact in our lives, in the lives of our communities and our people. So this is one of the things that have motivated us more to be here. It's uh, about caring for, for one another, about caring for the people who are left behind. Evan Campbell is with FHI 360. She called Lakeshore Foundation because their facility caters to disabled people. These programs are really important because these coaches are coming from places that don't have the same resources that we do here in the U.S., especially in the sports community. Lakeshore employees are explaining to these coaches how they can create a game like Bacha in their country with the resources they have. That they can go back home and really create a ripple effect and share what they've learned with their own communities and inspire there to be more change. A change Coach Flavio is excited to implement when he gets back to Angola. Not only look into the aspect of competitive sports, but also uh, the social part of it, the interaction part of it. So after their stay here, they'll head to Huntsville because there's a Paracycling World Cup there, so they'll go there to watch that competition. We're live in Homewood this evening. I'm Magdala Lusant, WVTM 13. All right.